My name is Mike Mulligan and this is my 1991 Honda CRX SI. I love this car. I have loved golden era Hondas for as long as I could drive and even before. A lot to go over here and a lot of people out there are wondering why we decided out of all these vehicles at the JCCS, which is massive, why did we feature this? And this is the reason right here. <laughs> Extremely stock. This thing looks like it comes right out of the wrapper. But more importantly, to those of you who actually watch TFL, which I apologize for, Roman Micah actually owned one of these. His um, extensions were actually popping out of the sunroof as he was driving. It was great. So going back to what we have here, how did you get this car? How long have you had the car? The whole nine yards hit it. I'll tell you what, I've had this car for two years now. In fact, I got to smog it this month, so I know it's been two years. I have wanted one of these forever since high school. And of course, when they were new back when I was in high school, uh, you know, college, I, I, college kids can't afford cars like this unless their parents, you know, buy it for them. Sure, sure. But I finally decided it was time after, what, 30 years? Uh -huh. And so I put my feelers out. I was looking for the perfect example for a long time. And I got frustrated because I couldn't find one. So I put an ad in one of the Facebook groups, like I'm looking for this, willing to travel, blah, blah, blah. And I got a nice response from somebody that just happened to be local to me in the San Diego area of all places. So I had to travel 20 minutes to buy this. And he, uh, nicest guy, he, he sold me the car and I've done some work to it since, but I, the reason I bought this car is because it was so stock, so original. It's really hard to find these unmolested. I it mean, is it really, really extremely hard. hard. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I love, you know, modified cars sure. just as much as the next car guy, but there's some things that just need to be kept stock. And this car, as far as I'm concerned, is done. You know, this is exactly how I want it to be, and I, I'm not going to lower it. I'm not going to put bigger wheels on it. I'm not going to put a big exhaust on it. No air intakes or anything like that. I'm happy with the way it is. It uh, drives great. It's a total time capsule. It, it really is. This does take you back to the early 90s. And um, you and I are about the same age. Right. So it's around that time when you're going from high school into college, and you're looking at the kids driving this, and you're like, oh, man, how did they manage? because these were really quick back in the day they were super quick especially if you were driving you know on a really cool back mountain road right and i'll tell you the story real quick of how i came you know this car I, while you do that yes, the hood, would you absolutely this car i've nicknamed shenango 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 because where i grew up in northwestern pennsylvania uh -huh. when i was in college there i was driving one day go ahead and get it and I happened upon a used car lot in Shenango Township, Pennsylvania, and I stopped and I drove a black one, but there was no way I was going to trade in my 1982 Prelude. And uh, there was no way I was going to, uh, no way I, I had to take a loan on it. Right, right, right. And you know, college was expensive as it was, so yeah. uh, the dream had to wait. But fast forward 30 some years and here we are. And programmed fuel, fuel injection. injection. Yeah. It's programmed because that was a thing back then, you know, not carbureted. <laughs> no, programmed. It's, it, it's cool because Honda didn't go crazy with the labeling on a lot of these cars uh, until later. If you remember when they went to the whole thing about four-wheel steering on preludes and all that yes. stuff, for WS and everything else, this one is super clean and there's not a whole lot of badging on it and ridiculous stuff. So let's go, um, let's go into the interior and have sure, a look. Sure, please, you? absolutely. That'd be great. So these cars, to find them in good condition, uh -huh. uh, unmol unmolested, is very difficult. I know that's a terrible word to say. No, 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 it's okay. It's, it's fine. <laughs> but, you know, typically the door panels are all chewed up from the seatbelt. People slamming them in the doors. Right, right. Uh, the seats are ripped. And honestly, one of my most prized possessions are those factory dealer installed floor mats, I should say, not factory. Because they the CRX letters fall off of those. <laughs> and... You know, to find a set like that that is uh, that is pristine is very difficult. Now there is a story behind the head unit there for the CD player, the and I think unit. it's a hilarious story. It's fun. So this car originally came with the Honda 2000 cassette player. I have it at home. I took it out, uh -huh. but I was on eBay one day looking at period correct CD players for this car, 
and I had purchased a couple before this. Uh-huh. They said they worked, but they didn't. I right. got them home. It's a, I mean, it's it's old technology. The lasers were out of focus or whatever. But I happened upon this. I had my alert set, and it popped up, and I just I sent the seller a quest. I said, "All right, have, has it been tested? Does it work?" He's like, "It's brand new." Mm-hmm. I said, "No." I said, "No, no, no. Does it work?" He goes, "No. You don't understand. It's brand new in the packaging." I said, "For real?" He showed. He took me. A, I took a picture of the Honda packaging uh-huh. with the Honda part number on there. Please tell me you held onto the box. I have it. I of course it. I did. It's all yellow. Uh-huh. It's all yellow. But I couldn't buy this enough quickly. I, I, I had to buy, 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 buy now. <laughs> and I dare say, I think it was $85, including shipping. Man, the that's... seller didn't know what they had. Right. And I knew what it was, but I'll tell you what, it works perfectly. You put a CD in there, it doesn't skip. Everything works perfectly. Let's pop the trunk because one of the things about keeping when mm-hmm. you're into this whole world of taking these cars to shows is that you have paperwork, you have a whole bunch of stuff. You saw the window sticker earlier, but there's more. So, you know, a lot of people will get these dealer brochures and throw them away. Yeah, Look at sure. them, you know, put a coffee cup on and forget about them. They get thrown away. But I happen to have not only the dealer brochure, but also the accessory catalog uh-huh. and also the original owner's manual. Uh, you know, please. Look at that. In the warranty booklet. And, you know, for these cars that were once considered throwaway, you know, to find one now uh, is absolutely. Oh, don't show that. No, don't, don't, don't show that. <laughs> Uh, right. yeah. Sorry about that. Hopefully you'll cut that out. Yes, we'll cut it out. <laughs> uh, oh, don't show in there either. <laughs> so all my all my dirty secrets are in there. Yes. Um, but anyway, so to to find one that has all the paperwork and everything is is really you know a feat. And of course, I have all the service records at home, timing belts and rotations and oil right. changes and mundane things that you know people don't care about. So let's. Um let's close with this first of all is there anything you want to do with it actually the first question would be do you drive this thing daily i don't daily drive this but i do co-host a cars and coffee in san diego escondido cars and coffee Uh and i wrote i i should also say that i have two preludes an 89 and a 93 and and a 1990 miata so i do rotate the cars and so, although I don't daily drive the car because I work at home, right. I actually do drive this car regularly. Okay. Yes. The second question before we wrap it up is, is there anything else you're gonna do with it? Like, Absolutely not. Aha! That's, no, that's what I love to hear. No, you know, <laughs> coilovers, no big fart can exhaust, you know, uh, no stretched wheels and tires. No, this this car is uh, exactly where I want it to be. Other than some maintenance items, which uh-huh. of course, you know, you have to do. Uh, but no, the car has reached its pinnacle in my eyes. So. It is <laughs> fabulous. And I know that uh, the judges just came by, didn't they? They did, yeah. Uh-huh. And They uh, came by twice, actually. Did so they come by twice? They came by twice. So, you know, did you flip them? Uh, I, <laughs> I didn't say that on camera. <laughs> I truly believe that this is one of the cleanest cars in this entire line, and I really appreciate the time you put forth. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, by the way, you have a channel. uh, You oh, I'm sorry to do that to you. Uh, Do you have a website, a channel for them to uh, check out? I do, and it's right here. If you want to take a picture of it, yep. It's oh yeah about that. That's a good name. That's a really good. That's my YouTube and my Instagram. I've got five, six hundred videos on the channel uh, oh, wow. okay. dedicated to my obsessive passion about the car. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that at all. All right, yeah. guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.